Hey, this is Wookie from Mandala Studios. Welcome to the workshop. Today's video is a request from the comments as to making a flocked sample onto some stretchy fabric. So to start with, I mixed up a, made up a little lycra sock to go over the back of a hand, just some flesh coloured lycra sewn into a little bag. Then just going to cover it in prosthetic or pro stick rather, an acrylic prosthetic adhesive. I'm just going to brush that over the back of the lycra hand sock quite a thick layer because we want it to absorb into the fabric and still have enough body left on the top of the surface to allow the fibres to bite into something. And once we've got a good even layer over the whole thing, we get on to flocking. So to start with the flocking we take a T-pin and then clean it up and just put it into the earth of the flocker. And then we just fix that into the fabric to provide the earth for the electrostatic. Then we grab the cup and we're going to put some flock in there. I just used some random flock I had lying around, a few different random lengths and some brown short stuff. And then we turn on the extractor, turn on the flocker, and we're just going to waft the flocking wand over the surface and drop the pin out. Be more careful than me. Pick it up with the wire this time and waft the flocker over it. And we're just wafting agitating the particles in the flocking wand and the electrostatic charge will allow that to flow and create the flocked surface on the back of the fabric. You can slowly see it starting to build up. You can see there we've got a thin layer of flocking over the whole thing. You can see the thick uh, uh, layers and the thin stuff. With flocking you tend to want to go light to dark, thick to thin. And there you go, after a bit we let it dry and we give it a quick test, pull it, stretch it. You can see that it's not as stretchy as the fabric was originally, but it's still got some stretch and give without distorting the fabric too much. And you can see that it makes a pretty good thing. I think I should have used less of the brown. I should do something to get rid of any tack in the glue. But there you go, hope that helps. Thanks very much for watching. See you again next time. Any questions, feel free to ask. Bye.